Some of the victims' families of the Emanuel AME church shooting are filing a lawsuit against the federal government. News News' Macy McLeod joins us now live from the Alert Center with more details. Macy, what can you tell us about this lawsuit? Carolyn, this wrongful death lawsuit is directed toward the FBI for the way Dylan Roof was able to purchase a gun. According to the lawsuit, Dylan Roof was arrested for controlled substance possession in late February of 2015. And although the charge was a misdemeanor, it was entered into arrest records as a felony charge. The lawsuit explains it is unlawful to sell a firearm to a person if there is reason to believe they are a user of controlled substances or is under indictment for a felony charge. According to a statement last July from the FBI, Roof never should have been able to purchase the gun. But confusion in researching the rap sheet means the background check lasted more than three days. If a background check is not returned within three days, the gun dealer can legally sell the gun. Because of this, attorneys representing the victims' families have filed more than a dozen lawsuits against the federal government, saying if the gun sale was denied as required, it would have prevented foreseeable harm to those people affected by Dylan Roof's use of the obtained handgun and breached its duty to the victims and their families by acting in a negligent, careless, grossly negligent, and reckless manner in failing to properly create, maintain, index, and manage databases used for background checks. Andy Savage, one of the attorneys representing the victims' families, said in a statement, quote, The victims and families hope that by bringing these actions, they can shine a very bright light on these shortcomings and prevent other individuals, families, and communities from dealing with unfathomable and preventable loss and injury. I spoke on the phone today with Sharon Risher, daughter of Emanuel AME shooting victim Ethel Lance. Risher tells me people are accusing the families of filing this suit for the money. She told me money will help to make life easier, but it won't take away the pain of losing her mother. She says this is about holding a flawed system accountable. Live in the Alert Center, Macy McLeod, News 2.